Hello, this video will walk you through setting up a Steam Mala stream box using my pre-configured zip file. I have a controller, right? DualShock 3, and I have a laptop here running Windows 8.1. I've already loaded up my demonstration video that I uploaded months ago. So in the description of that video is the emulation zip file. You're gonna download that. there. Now it's going to load up here. I use 7-zip. You might use the regular Windows extractor. Whatever. So, okay. It's going to take a minute or so to download. Let's jump. Okay, the download's done. Close that. So we're going to extract this to root C. So get rid of all that. Root C. Okay. This will extract all the emulators and necessary software to the root folder of the C drive under emulation. Everything is pre-configured, or most of it's pre-configured. There is a few steps that you have to do on your end, and that's what I'm walking you through today. Okay, so we go to C drive, emulation, C, emulation. See all the files, emulators, programs. First start here is where you want to start. Read me first. I've typed up a little uh, walkthrough. The first thing it tells you is to make sure you have an X input controller. So you hit Windows key R, bring up the run command menu. And in that, you're going to type joy.dpl. I've already typed it up. See, controller Windows 360. Properties, you can test it, show it's registered and working. Um, I'm using better DS3 with the X input profile to use my DualShock 3 as a 360 controller. So now it's saying uh, to install MAME or extract MAME. So we're going to go back to C emulation. Emulation. Now we're going to go to MAME. There it is. We're going to double click that. Extract. That's all set. Back to emulation. Now, if you re visit the README again, it's going to indicate that you need to add a couple files to your start menu, your Windows start menu. So let's bring up the Windows start menu. We're going to Windows key R. And we're going to type in shell colon startup. I'll bring up your Windows startup folder. Now, under C emulation, I have a startup folder with two files. You're going to copy and paste these two files into your Windows startup folder. The NES 9x file will let you exit the NES SNES emulator with the controller, and the Steam startup bat loads two programs, which will let you exit a number of programs using your controller. So double click these now if you want to test it without restarting. So and let's test Mala. So we have a shortcut here. Double click it. I haven't added any games yet, so when you're switching between systems, it's gonna say there's no games you want to rescan. Now here's an opportunity where you can right click options configuration. And you can here you can see all the systems I've pre-configured. You can add systems or you can delete systems. I have background music if you want to use it. It's Super Mario Brothers lounge music. Otherwise, you can leave this, just leave that part alone. So let's exit out here. Now you're going to wonder where to get games and where to put the games. Well, each folder here, system folder, has a games folder, and 64 games. Um, GBA, it's actually two systems there, regular Game Boy and Game Boy Advance. And they, they each have a respective folder you can put their respective games in. PSP, and there's a games folder. That's where you're gonna put the, the games, images, the ISOs. So where do you get the a games? Well, one place I like is Emo Paradise.
lots of systems to choose from here. You know, another place it's good to go if you like to download large packages of a bunch of ROMs all at once. I like using torrents. Kick-ass torrent is a good torrent search engine. You can find a lot of uh, prepackaged ROMs in one big, large size download. But um, and you can do uh, ISOs or what have you. But, but I have some files in my Dropbox ROMs. Let's transfer over some NES games. They're quick and easy. So I'll select all the files in here. Control A. Copy. I'll go back to C. Emulation. NES. Games. And I'll paste the files here. All right. Now we can test again. We'll go back to that malice shortcut here. Double click it. And it's not going to show the games yet. You have to right click on the mouse and refresh game list. And it'll show all the games. Now, anytime you add a ROMs, you're going to have to do the refresh under each system. But let's test out Batman. Yep, it's working. It's all pre configured. You're seeing this real time. So the controller seems to be working. There's a lot of other games. I'm going to add here. That's going to take some time. So I'm going to start transferring the files over and we'll come back. Welcome back. Loaded up the laptop with games, but I've also Windows R, Joey.cpl. I've also added another controller. I plugged in my other DualShock so I can play two players. So from this point on, I'm just going to be setting up Steam. Um, integrating Mala into Steam. So if you just want to use Mala by itself, you can add that shortcut to the desktop and double click and play. But here, I'm going to go up to Games and add non game, uh, non Steam game. So browse, I'm going to go to Emulation, Mala, Mala 174, and I'm going to take the Mala EXE and, and open it. There it is. Open. Add selected program. So there it is, Mala. It's in Steam now. But if we go over here to the grid view, it's not very pretty. But I have included a banner. So select custom image, right click, select custom image. And in the emulation folder, there's the Steam banner. Hit open and set image. There you go. So let's put it in the big picture. Big picture mode is ideal for gaming from the couch, sans a keyboard and mouse. You can do everything with the controller. So let's load up Mala, play. As you can see, I've loaded up the Lappy with all sorts of games. Let's go over to uh, uh, PlayStation 2, the Star Wars Battlefront. Shall we play a game? Battlefront 2, rather. Uh, this is not the EA version. This is the classic one. So lots of fun. It's probably been about seven years since I've last played this game. But I was playing the new Battlefront, and I was getting a little nostalgic for this one. The days are over, Trooper. DualShock 3 this works great with this. Battle. You can do both and controllers wirelessly. Really you just need to have a Bluetooth on your laptop or a Bluetooth adapter. Some activity has been reported in the vicinity of Checkpoint Delta. Like I said, everything is pre-configured. That includes the controller inputs for each system. So you have a 360 controller or some X input controller. You're good to go. Just add ROMs. What do we got here? So 
Someone's gonna die. And dead. Alright. Let's try a two player game. So, how about Smash Bros? Not very good at Smash Bros, but we'll give it a whirl. Smash Brothers Bra. I did set up that second DualShock, might as well test it out. Now as of this upload, I have yet to configure the second input for all the emulators in this, in this emulation zip upload. This configuration, but I figure to do that in the near future. I'm controlling both controllers, but I'm a lonesome here. I got each controller in my lap. Start with Mario, player one. Don't really know what I'm doing here. I never really played Smash Bros. Alright, I think. Yep. Second clear works fine. And, and both simultaneous. Okay, that's enough of that. Then go back. We'll exit out. Well, that's all you have to do, and you can go up to the power button, you can shut it down, or you can go back to the desktop. And just to show you here, I have this plugged into my TV. So, gaming on the go. Thanks for watching. Everything you need will be in the description.